welcome back guys to number what, eight of the how to series this one i'm going to do is just a fishing rig i have done a video on this before but it was one of my first videos and the picture quality wasn't very good i think it was back in like 360 not 1080 a little bit hard to see and follow so this is just going to be like an updated version of that okay this and what this rig is this is this is my all around favorite nighttime live baiting out uh, rig. This works extremely well on jig and very well on snapper. Okay, and basically it's it's a Paternoster sort of rig. Well, and right, we'll just we'll get into it. We won't take too long. So what we've got here is just some leader line. I think this is only like 30 pounds, only thin. I usually run 40. 50, 60, so when I'm live baiting for Jews, I usually run 60, and if I'm chasing snap, I run 40. But saying that, a good all round is around 50, 50 to 60. But you can make the rig itself out of like 40, not too heavy, and put like a 60 pound trace on, which I might do. I might, there might be some heavier leader there. I'll put a heavier trace on for the hooks and just show you. So basically, this rig, so we'll start off, we'll get into it. Just want to put this snapper lead on. This is going to run a, like a snapper lead. Okay, so just make a nice big loop at the bottom. Once again, bring it around like so. Now, basically just tying a granny knot. Just going to go through one, two. I'm going to go through three. And then I'm going to slide it up the line. So I want to make a fairly big loop. So make sure you work it up. Wait a little bit before you pull it tight. Make a nice big loop. That's going to be for your sinker. Okay, and last time I'd done this, I have practiced with this around with this reef off this rig offshore. Last time I'd done it, I'd done like a roughly a meter or you know, nearly a meter between sinker and where I'm going to put the hook. But I've worked out it actually works a lot better if you put the hook down a bit closer to the sinker. I'll show you in a minute. But what I'm going to do is just go up here at like a few inches, like well, that's eight inch, like 10 inches maybe from the sinker. Now I'm going to do a loop knot, so I'm just going to bring that around and I'm just going to do a loop knot. One of the two how videos is on how to tie this loop knot, so if you're not sure, go watch the video. So do that five times. Now I'll put that back through there. Okay, once again, wet it before it gets, before you pull it down tight. Now that's going to go up here, I'm going to cut this off and this will be tied on. I don't use swivels, but you can use a swivel here if you're not too sure about your knot. But I usually run this, I run a long leader because I hate fishing around reef with braid. So this, I'll make this two or three meters and then, you know, tie it to me main line, which is usually 50 pound braid or 30 pound braid, depending on the outfit I'm using. But that's the rig, basically, what you've got there. It's pretty much it. Sinker and 10 inches up, we've got a loop knot. So I'll cut that off. And when I started making a fish in this way, I realized you just get better strikes and it's don't get as many tangles. It's a good way to do it. So we've got the sinker there, okay? So sinker's down there and you'll see a loop knot there. What I'm gonna do with this, I'll show you. I'll make a heavier leader. So if you're chasing jewies, this is 50, I think. So just get 50, go a couple of foot or so, roughly a couple of foot. A foot and a half, two foot, whatever that is. Now, the first knot, you're going to tie the first hook on. Hooks I will run are BKKs. I've, I've started using them a few months ago, and I love BKKs and the octopus. These things are awesome. They're so sharp, and they're strong. They're a really good hook. Anyway, I'll tie the bottom one on, just with a uni knot. And once again, in this how-to series, even though there's thousands of videos on YouTube, one of the videos will be doing a uni knot. I'll do it up nice and close with Dacron so you can follow along. Okay, so this uni knot, cut off the tag. They are sharp. Next hook is my very, the Snell I use. A lot of people don't like this, but I've never had one break or undo, so I think people are full of shit. Um, all right, so and because this rig works exceptionally well with pike, Make the gap between these two hooks a little bit longer. So this one's going to go through his nose, and you want this one down his body a bit, not too, not close to his head. Okay, and this is just—you've seen me do this knot. It's in other videos. 
I just run it through the eye, bring the um, main line, the, the line back down and start twisting around the shank of the hook. I do that a few times, five, six, seven, whatever. And then once I've done it, I'll pinch the hook, get the, the end, put it back through the eye and pull it tight. That knot has never undone on me or broken. So it's, it's a fine knot to use. You can put a bead or a tube or something on, on here if you want to, so I'll just dress up with a bead. Now on this end, once again, what we know with the sinker, we're gonna do the same. Double it over, make a loop with a twin. Now, just go through, one, two, and three. This loop doesn't have to be as big as the sinker, so you can actually make it a short one. Pull it up nice and tight after you wet it. Cut it off. Okay, so there's a 50 pound hook trace. Now what we're gonna do is just loop to loop. So with the hook one, go through, okay? And then I'm gonna bring the hooks back through that one. And if you want, it's like putting on a wind on actually. When you get to pull them tight, you'll see it makes a nice loop there in the middle. You can get the hooks and go through the middle again if you wish. I do, sometimes I don't, but generally I do. I don't think it makes it any stronger or anything else. Pull it through. And if you do what I've done, I just went the wrong way and undone it. See? <laughs> Bloody twit. Okay, so the, that one through. I'm just going to do it once. Just, just so we can get the, near the end of the video. Put the hooks back through that one. See, even a so-called pros mess up occasionally. You just got loop to loop there. I won't go through again. I'm just not concentrating enough. And you can pull that tight. But once again, wet it down. Pull it up tight. So there's your rig. Okay. So you got your live bait. You got your sinker down there. And that's going, my left hand here is going to the rod. And you have a live bait sitting out here on the current. And for this rig to work really well, generally, I do make this hook run a little bit longer. I want it longer than the sinker. Like when I made it there, it's about the same. Generally, I want the sinker up about here. So the hooks sit below it. Okay, a little bit shorter on the sinker. And when you drop this down, I don't fish this on the bottom. I'll drop this down to the bottom. Once the sinker's on the bottom, ah, that's sharp. The sinker's on the bottom. I wind up about half a meter, so the sinker's off. Live bait will be back here swimming freely in a bit of current. Doesn't matter where your boat swings on the reef or if you're drifting, you'll drift over the reef or the back edge of the reef or outside of the edge of the reef, I'm always talking about. Your bait's about a meter off the bottom and it's swimming freely and it's a perfect rig at night time for big dew and snapper on our close reefs. Okay. Hopefully you like that one. Um, if you have any questions or something on this rig or whatever, just ask in the comments and we can go a bit more in depth with it at a later date. But that's just a rig and it's just a really good rig for offshore fishing. But remember, the sinker doesn't stay on the bottom. Once you get to the bottom, wind up about half a metre. So that way your bait will be sitting about a metre off the bottom and just free swimming over the reef. Next to the reef, I should say. On the edge of the reef. And that's where you're going to find the big snapper and juice at night time. Anyway, I uh, hope you liked that one, and I'll see you again tomorrow. I think tomorrow should be number nine. See you then. Bye.